tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty, so I moved in. It is on Triss's advice we're going to go and speak to Corrine Tilly. Now, this is going to be not a terribly long episode, but it won't be that many places where I'm going to be able to add in my own opinion. So I'll try to say what I can say here. Corrine is somebody who is capable of sort of seeing into his dreams or facilitating an ability for somebody like Geralt to go and see his dreams or remember them or have some sort of like psychic connection or something to whatever. Now that seems to be important, especially for Geralt, because he is linked to Ciri by some kind of a destiny. Whenever he dreams of her, that means she is in some kind of trouble. So perhaps he's able to find something about her whereabouts if he goes and sees this woman here. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny? By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Ciri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. 
Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... Travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places. And that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Volker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Ciri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Ciri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. 
She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. There was a lot of backstory just sort of regurgitating during that scene. And a lot of it is stuff that I don't really have a context to. Now, I have by this point seen the Netflix series, and I have gone through, gone ahead and read the book, The Last Wish, which is actually a collection of short stories. I didn't realize that when I picked it up. And it is uh, filled in a lot of the details, but there's clearly a lot more stuff that I've yet to see or read or whatever. So I'll, I'll talk about that at some point in the future. But to round out this episode, let's have a friggin' fist fight. Because, you know, why not? Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georges George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus George's George, the pile driver. May the better man win. It is one of the side quests that you'll be able to go on where you'll be able to have these this Fists of Fury mission where you go to the different bars or different areas and get into these fist fights with these guys. Honestly, I can't remember what you get if you complete it. I, you do get a reward for winning each fight. So I guess maybe that might be it. And there's a woman over in Skelligrad, Skelli is it called? I forget. Skella something. Which will sleep with Geralt if he beats her up. Like, that makes sense. Our winner and the tavern's new champion is... The Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. I to leave this city, so... During that dream sequence, we got our first view of Dandelion. Dandelion is a is a bard, somebody who's Geralt's best friend, and he, in The Last Wish, he appeared uh, in a few different places in that, and a few of the short stories in the... He was referred to in the sort of framing story of the book. It's kind of an... I get the impression that he's kind of an asshole, but whatever, Geralt likes him, so okay. I didn't get much from the scene that we saw with him, though. He was being chased by a bird or something like that. I mean, there are shapeshifters and all that kind of stuff, so I guess maybe that's what that was. But it, to me, it didn't really say too much about Ciri's whereabouts. You think perhaps he would maybe have seen a seen something from her perspective, because we did see stuff from her perspective when it was relayed to Geralt uh, by, by, by the Bloody Baron. We saw her at the campfire, and then we saw her during the horse race and all that kind of stuff. 
So they could easily have just shown it from her perspective and shown her doing whatever it was that ended up her getting in the kind of situation she's in. But we got a little bit more before we can even run into her. So, well, bring this episode to a close. Next one, well, we got a new character to meet. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> <laughs>